They was calling the priest and the church father, and I did know in the Bible that you're not supposed to call any man father but your father in heaven. That alone started me, you know, to really investigate the church. I went to the Baptist church. I went to the Holiness Church. I wasn't going to stop searching. I wasn't going to stop having the faith that God will show me, and he did. And nobody can take it away from me. of Sandy Yady. I was born on the island, New York, and I was raised in Manhattan. All together, my mother had 13 children, and I was the middle one. My grandmother, she taught us her best way of being a, a true Catholic. We wasn't allowed to come into church unless we bowed down and make the sign of the cross. We always had to pray a different prayer like the Hail Mary. I believe there was a God, and there is a God, being a Catholic. As I became knowledgeable and praying more, I didn't believe in the church, no. Not, not the Catholic Church. When I was older, a teenager, I started reading the Bible and praying a lot. And they was calling the priest and the church father. And I did know in the Bible that you're not supposed to call any man father but your father in heaven. That alone started me, you know, to really investigate the church. It was a lot of things that was going on in there in all the Catholic churches I went to, that just was not what it's supposed to be in the Holy Bible. If they are teaching us, they should teach everything exactly from the Holy Bible and nothing else. My whole life just wrapped up into finding that true church. That was my all and all that I was searching for because I went through so many churches and found them to be untrue as far as the Holy Bible is concerned. I went to the Holiness Church. I went to the Baptist Church. That was definitely not it. The Baptist Church, they read something from the Bible, but it's so short-lived. And then they start talking about, Oh, my wife did this. This one did that. What did I have anything to, to be spreading the word of God? You talk about your personal life. If you're a real minister and stuff, you would be preaching directly from the word of God, not adding your words to it. God said, don't add to nor subtract. Oh, the orphans, they come around three, four times. They don't do it one time. The pastor, he had the most expensive car. He was taking care of himself. He, he wasn't doing what he's supposed to do. But then again, how could he do what he's supposed to do? You can't preach unless you're sent. But the Catholic Church was the main problem with me when I became aware. And I did go back to speak to the priest and I asked them, why do y'all allow the brethren in the church to call your father? When God said, call no man father, but your father in heaven. I said, I have my Bible with me. You could read it yourself. And he said, get out, just leave. One day, my husband and I, we was riding our bicycles and the U.S. government car was coming the wrong way and hit my bike. 
I went up in the air, I came down on the hood of the car, rolled in the street. I was taken to Long Beach Hospital, did x-rays and everything, and they said there was nothing broken. They told me that I can pick two doctors. I looked up and down, it was about six to eight doctors or so, and I picked Dr. Alfredo Dales and Dr. Lito Ramos. And uh, when I went to see them, I think I saw some God's messages in the office. I was telling them about, I, I went to every church there was and I could not find the truth. They was telling me about the Church of Christ. So I was very uh, curious to want to know about the Church of Christ. Then they asked me would I like to come to uh, any of the Bible studies or anything like that. I said, yes, I definitely would. I would love to come. So he had brought me to the church and I was looking for those crosses. There was not any cross and every word that they preached was directly from the Word of God. I would pray, I would cry out to Almighty God and Lord Jesus, I know it's a true church out there. Please let me be able to find that true church. And that is exactly what he did. When I uh, first uh, found out about the uh, True Church of Christ and bringing my family, you know, they didn't uh, give me no hard time about it. One time they did say something like, you going to another church? I said, yes, but this is the True Church. Just come. Just come and listen and just be patient and you all will see. And that's exactly how it went down. Everything was on the up and up, and truth was being presented to my family and myself. When they opened up the Bible and was just teaching and preaching everything from the Bible and not making up their own words, that was my light. I know that uh, Jesus said, upon this rock I will, build, I will build my church. He didn't say churches, so I know it was one church. And then when they read the prophecy from the Holy Bible, it's right there. Then I knew that the Church of Christ is a true church without any kind of doubt. And the truth is the only thing that's going to set us free. that I had is the same thoughts I will always have, that the Church of Christ is the true church. I've been a member of the Church of Christ since April 28th, 1979. So it's been over, a bit over 40, 40 years. I wasn't gonna stop searching. I wasn't gonna stop praying. I wasn't gonna stop believing. I wasn't gonna stop having the faith that God will show me, and he did. And nobody can take it away from me. They can take a lot of things from me in my life, but they cannot take the truth from me. Regardless of what had came in my life, the different trials, the different tribulations, the illnesses, everything, he has truly blessed me and my family. I wouldn't want to live without being in the true Church of Christ. And I mean that from my heart. God knows I speak the truth. I wouldn't want to, it's no, where can I go? Where can I take my family? There's no place on this earth. The world is 
it's in bad shape. It's so much sin and different things that's going on in this world. It's just very sad. That's the reason why we need to be in the true Church of Christ. We need to renew our life. We need to pray harder. We need to be true followers of his beloved son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Because we are living in the last days. These are perilous times, and they're not going to get any better. Being in the Church of Christ, that's my joy. That's my main love. It's a blessed privilege to be able to sing from our hearts, minds, and souls to our Father in Heaven and His Son, Jesus Christ. How long have you been in the choir now? It was a bit over a decade, say uh, 11 years. What do you love about being in the choir? Singing praises to Almighty God and His beloved Son, Jesus Christ. I want to do it until the end, the very end, because Serving God and His beloved Son, Jesus Christ, is my life. And without being able to do that, I don't have any life. I want to sing praises. I want to let my heart and soul be in sync to our Heavenly Father and His beloved Son, Jesus Christ. I want to, to continue to be on the choir. Even though I could barely hardly walk sometimes, but God give me the strength to be able to get on the choir, Lord, praise and sing to him and his son. And I feel so rejuvenated and refreshed. Being in the Church of Christ, that's, being in the true Church of Christ is just, That's what I'm most thankful for. And may I take that with me to my grave. I could never thank him enough for being in the true church of Christ. God is awesome. God is my all in all.